How is it going? Welcome to another episode of our Outer Wilds adventure. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being so awesome. This is going to be an amazing day, everyone. Let's say hello to Slate. Make sure there's nothing new. All right, we're looking pretty good. Today is going to be an incredible day, everyone, because the videos have officially started going on to YouTube now. So I've been able to see some of my past mistakes. Would you believe me if I told you I have made a couple of mistakes in this playthrough already? I'm over here yelling at myself, at my past self, to go back, to change some things. And I think some of y'all know exactly what I'm talking about right now. We need to return to the Ember Twins, everyone. I have some unfinished business there. I never figured out how to use the warp thing. So we are going to discover this together right here, right now. Hopefully, I'm talking a big game right now, but hopefully <laughs> my theory is correct to use the... There's like a shelf next to something where you could maybe put the warp nodes into. I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm following the sun station, but where are the Ember Twins? Ah, there they are. This has been absolutely awesome so far. We've been getting a lot done. We went to Giant's Deep, which might be my favorite planet yet. There was so much to see there, and we still have some things that we need to figure out. Uh, we still need to enter the core. And we're going to discover the answer of how to enter the core on Brittle Hollow. So we're definitely going to... Oh, gosh. This is tradition at this point, everyone. There are a couple of traditions. Let me grab my suit before I forget. We need to have a terrible landing, right? I always need to... Instead of exiting the driver's seat, I always need to check, like, the camera for landing as well. Okay, that should be back to normal. So, let's rock on. We need to go to the energy lab. This is going to be incredible because now since I've been editing these videos, I've actually seen where the heck that one um, shortcut was to enter the high energy lab. <laughs> because I couldn't, I couldn't find it. I was having so much trouble trying to see it. So, let's find where the shuttle launches because that's... It's right around where that thing is. So we've got them over there. That's where their ship is. Here we go. Here we go, everyone. Please, you can do it. We made it, we made it. We're like wall running right now. Okay, the secret entrance to the high energy lab should be around here. Should be around here, come on. It's right here. Let's go, good job. <laughs> come on, redemption, redemption, everyone. So much has changed. Because now I also know that you can take pictures and stuff, right? So let's go ahead and, and bring this back. Swap to photo mode. Look, we're safe if we go down here. And now we're officially back into the sunless city. I was always doing it the super crazy long way. Now we're going to go to the energy lab we go ahead and open this up awesome i'm so excited to see what is going to change what is going to change with this this was episodes ago i went back and forth to this lab so many times i've had so many theories on what i was supposed to do when the answer was right in front of me on how to use these warp things now, my theory with how this warp thing is going to work, it's probably going to uh, teleport us or teleport our scout to different destinations, maybe to like each planet or something. So this is the ultimate question, right? We're supposed to turn this on and this is what was driving me crazy. I'm like, what am I supposed to do? You got to take this and you bring it all the way around like that. <laughs> and it powers this and I'm like, what am I supposed to do? It's is it going back to the sunless city? Dude, this follow the light. It's feeding right into this right here. So now if we open this up, we can fire our scout in. There it is. And that's why I was so confused. I understood this part of it, right? But now it makes sense. Let's go ahead and take a white core. I don't know if there's a specific order. So 
So we're about to find out. I'm just going to do a white and then I'll do a black here. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so... Interesting. Okay, what's... What's the point? Let's do double. Oh, you know what? I bet you need to close it. Maybe you gotta close it. It actually... That was weird. Let's go ahead and close this up and just see what happens. It definitely seems different, right? That is definitely not the inside. Oh, it's crazy. That is definitely not the inside. Um, well, let's go ahead and try putting in a different one. Here's another warp core. That's showing us the outside because there's like the waterfall. Go ahead and open this up. If I fire this. Yeah, it actually, oh, it actually shows you, it goes through that one and then it comes out of that one right there. Um, so it's showing you like what the warp technology looks like. Now if we, can we fire, can we fire this one? So that doesn't work. But that definitely works. Well, that's really cool. That's really cool. So what does the empty one do? Maybe nothing? Yeah, you just need, you need that one. You need like the perfect combo. Well, this makes me happy. This makes me happy because at least we have closure now. Right? <laughs> Look, it's game pictures of us. I don't know how. When we closed the thing, it was actually showing us a bunch of stuff. Right? Look, now it closes. Now it closes. Maybe... Maybe it was just bugged out, honestly. That makes me so happy that we finally have some closure with that. We have just 50% fuel remaining. My gosh, it's just so easy to uh, to get lost around here. <laughs> it's so easy. There goes the comet. So crazy close. Um, well, gosh, there are a couple of things, honestly. Let me try talking to Chert and see if they have anything new to say. I have a question for you. I found something. I found no my writing about the sun station. Uh, I might need to pause time. Is that what's in orbit around the sun then, do you think? This sun station? Quite clever of the no my to devise a way to study the sun up close and personal. It must have been tremendously difficult to construct and hot inside. I can only imagine. I wonder how were they able to travel back and forth from the sun station and the hourglass twins? when the slightest slip up would have meant a fiery death. Do we have anything else? Well, that's cool that it actually showed up. That is, uh, that is really awesome. They had something that said, I found something, right? And then the same option showed up when we met Gabro saying I found something as well, right? So maybe we have to find something and like each character has a line, has a little bit of dialogue. If you discover the right thing anyway. And now we're pretty much good to get the heck out of here. Okay, let's find our ship. Our ship is on the complete opposite side. Let's go ahead and get all that full again. That's all looking pretty good. They had to teleport. If they had to teleport to the sun station, I mean, I'm thinking it's got something to do with, with this guy right here. There's definitely more...
There's definitely more to this here, guys. More than I've been able to figure out so far. Oh. Okay, let's get out. I feel like every time I'm searching this area, it's, uh... The world is about to end. Right? Nice save, we're good. Okay, we're good, we're good. Just patch up the suit. Fine. See, because that's the interesting thing is, what if we shoot this? There is some lore in there. There is some lore in there. I mean, gosh, is this supposed to be like a parkour section? We're just kind of looking at all of this really quick. Dude, if this was like honestly some kind of parkour section, that would be really awesome. Is there another entrance perhaps? Oh, you can warp here. There is a little warp stone. So maybe we can warp here from somewhere else. Maybe we can warp there from somewhere else. That would be really cool. We're making these little discoveries. My other plan was to try doing some... Some parkour. To get there. I'm definitely, I'm afraid to try it, but let's try it. Oh my gosh, is this really what you're supposed to do? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Outer Wilds? That's what you're supposed to do to get there? <laughs> you have to like glide across? That is, I can't believe that worked. I thought for sure I was going to be dead. And we might be finding this is completely new, right? Please tell me we haven't been here before. Sun Tower offline as of 6 minutes 41 seconds ago. All other towers online. Sun Tower, Sun Tower. This might teleport us. But the Sun Tower's offline. If this was to teleport you to the Sun Tower, but it's offline now because we can't trigger it. 6 minutes. 6 minutes ago. Is it because I, gosh, I wonder if it's because I did the thing, because I moved. This is going to be another terrible theory. It might be completely wrong, but I wonder if it has anything to do with the fact that I had moved the energy lab from one spot to the other. I mean, that could have been six minutes ago. Oh, I just love this game so much. I really hope that that's what it was. That is just so cool. That is so cool. But yeah, I don't know, guys. Let's just keep looking around. <laughs> Let's keep looking around. Oh man, now I have to like try that. Have we been here? It looked like there was a little section above. It looked like there was a section above. Hold on. Just kind of exploring. I don't remember if I had been in this spot. Why? What is this? Wow. Okay, there is something here for us. Pick up scroll. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, the sun's definitely not looking happy right now, but we can maybe squeeze in this reading. Remove. There's the scroll. Friends visiting from the Hanging City. We are planning the Ash Twin Project at the High Energy Lab on Ember Twin's equator. Conway, I became lost on Ember Twin. <laughs> hey, we've all been there, right? My gratitude that Raimi found me. But the high energy lab is the building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. 
Raimi, I imagine our otherwise immensely clever Conoy would lose his own head if it weren't anatomically impossible. Is that it? This will warp us? No, that one's not going to warp us. This is so crazy. What about on this side? Do we have any scrolls? I don't know. I... I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that was new or not, guys. I really don't remember. We don't have much left, everyone. And we all know Timber Hearth. We all know this spot. This one's like perfectly intact. Like everything is fine there. Okay, they're gonna start playing the music. Let me look around here. We have the light. There's been so much emphasis on these, uh, on these like Ember Twins. Are there two different ones? Yeah. It's gotta be a different one, right? Here we go. I don't know. I don't know if this has anything to do with anything. <laughs> to be honest with you. This is crazy. Yeah, and this is a different one. It's just so dark. We're dead, right? I mean, look at this glow, dude. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that glow is fishy or not. Okay, it's so alright. Again, Outer Wilds just filling me with so many, so many questions. <laughs> but we did get some new things there, so that's good. I'm extremely curious about that sun station. And we know about that right there. If the sun station, like, I wonder if we need to use the warp to land on there. Hmm. So, Slate talks about Hornfells would know about the supernova. I might make a quick run over to Hornfells and talk about the supernova. We did get something new. Did get something new, but what was it? The White Hole Station. There's more to explore here. At the White Hole Station? Oh. Oh, okay. To use it, I mean, I maybe then, like, if they all have a view of above at the <laughs> I'm not making any sense we have to go back to the white hole station apparently there's more there but maybe that's why we couldn't teleport maybe it was just because we weren't lined up with like on the ember twin maybe we couldn't teleport because we weren't lined up with um you know with wherever we were trying to teleport in that case the sun station I don't know. But what I'm seeing here is Brittle Hollow, guys. So I need to think real quick. I need to think, what do I want our next move to be? Today, my mission going into this was thinking, okay, well, we can go to Brittle Hollow. There's going to be a lot of fun stuff to see there. It's going to be a new planet, so that's awesome. And then also, we found out on Giant Steep that the answer of trying to enter the core of Giant Steep is on Brittle Hollow. We can learn uh, there, so... Yeah, it's just going to be awesome, dude. It's going to be so awesome. So we might do that. There's also a part of me, though, that sees the White Hole Station still has more. And I'm such a completionist. I We will go back there. We will. But let's go to Brittle Hollow first. All right, let's do it. Resume. Let's resume. Uh, secret code word for this episode. Resume. Leave that down in the comments below. You already know. Massive shout out to everyone who's been supporting this series. We've got a couple different options here. I mean, we can go on... Is that like it's moon or something? This would be so awesome. <laughs> I don't think we can land on that. I think it's good to go to Brittle Hollow right away too. Oh, look, it's got smoke. It's got smoke coming out. Because... Oops. Sorry. Because we're doing it at the start of a new loop. And a lot of these are so time sensitive, you know? Okay.
Oh, we're landing right next to um our friend on this planet, it looks like. We've got our suit. Let's open the hatch. Oh, always a rush to be on a new planet. We were on here for a brief moment when we got teleported here many episodes ago, but I wanted to save the exploration for a dedicated, you know, episode. Uh, but I, this is like a snowy one. Look, we got ice. <laughs> I mean, the ship is looking very fancy. Incredible visuals, right? And just hearing the wind right now. The breeze, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Okay, what was that? I just heard like a little mini explosion. We're getting immersed, everyone. We're getting immersed. Come on. So if that's where their ship is, and who is going to be? I I'm trying to remember the name of all the explorers. I mean, this looks very promising. They're just... What was that? I just heard one explosion there. <laughs> I just heard another explosion. I'm going towards the explosion. There are so many things. I'm going towards the explosion, but also, like, what's going on right here? Let's get the high ground. Oh, oh, that's so cool. I might be, the explosion might be like the volcano. Oh, oh gosh, we're good. <laughs> they're, trying, they're trying to snipe us. It might be that and it's like shooting meteors down or something. It's not happy that we're here. Are we like upsetting the balance? Hmm. This one... Gosh, okay, but there's not gonna be like rising snow, right? We might need to enter this one from somewhere else. Really just looking around right now. Okay, can we go through this? I saw the dude's ship, but I didn't even see him. Look, look at it go. There goes the, uh... Oh, 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 cool. All right. <laughs> oh, it's so awesome. Is this like going to be an actual... I'm going to go in. <laughs> Are we safe down here? Oh, gosh, dude, I think it's... I think it's dragging me in. I think it's dragging me in, dude. Are we? Am I standing on it? Or are we falling into it? I don't know. Where? Where are we? Is that the White Hole Station? My scout's all the way over there. This is definitely the White Hole Station. Can we enter back in? I'm gonna try going back in. Everybody hold on. But I don't think you can. I don't know. I don't know if we are actually going through, guys. I don't... I don't think so. No. We're getting rejected. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? All right, let's try to go for that. Dude, that was so awesome. That was really cool. That was really cool. And that is insane timing, man. <laughs> so where are we? This is just like random debris or something. We got the comet. It's so dark, man. I'm just going to go towards that. I don't know. It's a walkway. Oh, 
Dude, I don't know, guys. I don't know. It's not looking good for us. It is not looking good. Fuel level is critical right now. Oh. Wow. Wow. What the heck, dude? In the end, we made it back to the White Hole Station. <laughs> this was not part of the plan. This was definitely not part of the plan, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay, okay, don't worry. You aren't the first. This warp tower will return. This all is crazy. This is all so crazy. <laughs> I can't believe it, guys. I can't believe how random that is. That is so awesome. So we're learning. We just learned today because we started the episode. This is why everything happens for a reason. You know what I mean? All the dominoes, right? It's a little domino effect. We just learned today that the way the warping works, because I missed it the first time, and then we learned you can only travel through like the black hole, right? And you're gonna shoot out of the white hole. And that's what we experimented on with our scout over at the energy lab. And then now we just went through the black hole because apparently Brittle Hollow, Brittle Hollow has a, has a black hole in the center. And now I'm just kind of thinking like the name Brittle Hollow, right? So maybe Brittle because like it's ice right so maybe it breaks apart easily because of the word brittle but then also hollow that the center of it is very hollow right so that's really awesome so we do we can go back but another reason why this is so incredible is because the first time i went here i definitely didn't arrive here like this you know so it didn't mean much to me back then but now seeing this it it's, makes perfect sense right it's so cool so every warp tower is tuned to a specific we're all good with this and then today we're going to Brittle Hollow. You gotta be standing on it during this alignment. Yeah, that's so cool. You have to be standing on it correctly during the alignment. So, I mean, just, I don't know, what am I, how long does it take usually? Right? Try going lower. Not sure what I just did. Oh, it's rotating us. Okay, it's going to keep rotating instead of being stuck. That way you can actually line it up. And this is like officially powered on now and it's gonna keep moving and moving and then look everybody we're gonna be right on target any moment now in where our ship is that's actually a perfect indicator look what there we go let's go awesome Oh, this is a rush. This is so fun, everyone. Okay, so we did that. Yeah, we did it. Warp status is charged. Step onto warp receiver platform to activate. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Oh, this actually, this has been amazing, man. Look, we're, we're getting very lucky today. So this is the Hanging City. Welcome our friends from the Hanging City. All right, we've got more Nomai here. What's going on in here? Can we actually enter that? Yeah. Okay, um... Clary, to our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. Poke. I don't know how close it is to Anona's original design, but as long 
As long as what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it, Cassava. I hope you're reading this. Poke. Wait. This can't be correct. Clary. Have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. Poke. I'm returning to the Whitehall station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Poke, don't tell Cassava. Why though? Wait a second, I wanna see right here real quick, okay? So we got Felix. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower. Although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. And just the idea of that, guys. The idea of that, like we just went through a black hole is terrifying and also awesome <laughs> uh so so neat here and they're gonna show you like i'm just gonna send you there okay i have a couple different things here but hey there you're sitting down huh I need, I need the projection stone. I wonder, gosh, I, I think we may have done that in the wrong order. I wonder if I needed to grab the one. Just double check over here, make sure we didn't miss anything. There was one at the black hole station. Um, I didn't grab it though. I hope that isn't uh, a big deal. <laughs> what else we got here? Anything up here? Anything at all? This is like so purple right now. What is this giant light? So that's the white. So that'll send us. That's awesome. I just had to do that. I just had to do it too because I was going to just grab this. <laughs> I was going to grab this and uh, hopefully this will send us back here in a moment. Uh, and we can go test this out. It might not be anything. I feel like we found so many of the projection stones, but it might it might be something. I don't know. I, I feel like we found this one specifically, the one for Ember Twin. Any moment now, we will be on our way. It's like pretty close to where our ship was. There it is. Okay, what's that about? Oh, this is this is this is brilliant. This is brilliant. You have to the fire and the ice, and that used to be ice? Maybe, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, this is so cool, guys. Feldspar's spare jetpack fuel. It's annoying to Schlep across the planet to the ship if I can't use my jetpack, so I'm leaving this here. I checked with my little scout. I do too use it, Hornfells. You burnt marshmallow? We know a lot about burnt marshmallows as well. And the scout's integrity reading said this piece of brittle hollow is as stable as any, but who knows. If the fuel's still around, feel free to use it. If not, well, wherever you're reading this note, I'm sure you've got bigger problems. And so many explosions. Well, thank you, my friend. Thank you, so that kind of explains why some of those are around. Let's see if we can use this. Pi, Raimi and I reviewed the records you sent, Poke, and they appear to show Nomai are arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment, and the result is the same every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly 100 thousandth of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can accurately measure time to such a small degree? I think this is new. I think. Pi, as I've already told Raimi, these measurements can't be accurate. How can a Nomai arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped? 
into the teleporter. The implications are absurd. Poke, I don't disagree. It would mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Yes, I hope so too, is what Raimi is saying. Now Raimi, Poke, as Pi is confident the reading is inaccurate, she's kindly helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the high energy lab. <laughs> Oh man, we're designing an experiment to take more data and is the experiment the thing that I was completely oblivious to and we just started at the beginning of this episode. Pi, an update, poke, the high energy lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins equator, come here at once, you need to see this. So awesome, I would love to see the order that everything was written. Because you have the freedom to, to approach this in so many different ways. And this sounds like it happened before what we possibly read at the, uh, the energy lab. Let's go ahead and toss this right here as well. I want to say that was new. Yeah, ship log updated. <laughs> yeah, there's the projection that I try to use a million times. Oh, that is so cool. You're seeing our character. That is awesome to have closure there, everyone. That's really awesome. And it kind of shows you like, hey, this is what they're referring to, by the way. Yeah, we should be good. Yeah, that should be everything. Okay, so what I was going to say, what's really cool and what's time sensitive, because that's the thing with this. There have been so many time sensitive things like the Ember Twins and the Comet. And now I think Brittle Hollow. I didn't get a whole massive look at the planet. We just kind of have been warping all over the place. But this is definitely, this was not here when you first started, I don't think. I think the lava that's orbiting the planet. Let's go. Opens this up. Ouch! But we're good. We're not dead. There's a whole thing over there on that side. Ship error. I just want it for fun. <laughs> it's just cool, right? We haven't seen any ghost matter on this planet yet. So where is our friend? Even though I could use my thing here to, uh, you know, get their instruments. Oh gosh, are they actually going to be here in a moment? Oh, we got them, we got them. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. And this is the hanging city. Oh, because you actually go like that. I'm just hearing the music right now. What a wonderful melody. I'm gonna go see you, my friend. What is happening here? Hmm. Well, that was deeply unpleasant. I made it this far, though. Guess that's the part to focus on, and not how I'll eventually have to get back up that path. <laughs> but wow, this place sure is something. Looks like the Hanging City is north from here, and east is a gravity cannon. A gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that, me too. And another thing, I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below, which is good since I uh, used up a lot of my supplies screaming during the trip down from the surface. As soon as I stop dry heaving, I'm going to head farther down below so I can refill my tank. Okay. Yeah, we need more as well. There's a whole map of everything that's here. So there's an energy cannon, which is going to be like that because we saw one of those on the, uh, the Ember Twin, I think. And yeah, I don't... I'm not sure. Just look at that one more time. Hanging cities to the north. East is the gravity cannon. But what? What is to the west, though? North is the hanging city gravity cannon. Like, what What are these? This, this is something we learned about this. I think it was on the thing orbiting. 
um, orbiting giant steep. Okay, gravity cannon. I'm gonna have to go lower, guys. I gotta go lower. Okay, gravity cannon workshop. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Be nice and nice and easy. All right, we got this. We'll we'll get there in time. Oh gosh, Tower of Quantum Knowledge, what the heck? Then there's, oh, this is where you're at, hello. Let's go, let's go. Hi, they got the banjo. What's up, Ryback? How are you? I'm turning on freeze time while talking to others. Apparently, when I talked to Gabbro, the cyclone tornado shot me up into outer space and I missed a huge chunk of dialogue. I know that because some of y'all had let me know and you even gave me the dialogue that I had missed otherwise. Luckily in that case, it was definitely a lot, but we did kind of piece together the stuff just from discoveries on the island and stuff, on the different islands and all of that. So that got taken care of, you know? Hey everybody, sorry, I had to end the last recording to start a new one. I have to do that after a certain amount of time each time to make sure we don't run into any problems and stuff. I forgot to press start recording. So <laughs> we missed the, like the very first line of dialogue. It was just Ryback saying, oh hey, like, hey, it's awesome to see you. Something along those lines. And yeah, they're saying that they've been out here for a while. I also froze time and had the like the realization that like everything freezes, like they stop playing music. It's not just the timer, but everything freezes. So that was a bit jarring compared to how we've been doing it because I turned that freeze time option on for when we're talking to the NPCs. So anyway, thank you. Sorry about that. It was just like one line of dialogue uh, and we should be back to it right now so wow i guess that means i've been out here a while huh well um this is brittle hollow but you probably knew that yeah lots of history here it's great so what are you doing here my friend i mean they've been chilling here if they said that they've been here for a while as well i mean they're trying to figure out how to get back up um because we had the other message that was saying that they were screaming all the way down but it looks like they're relaxing honestly so what are you doing here i'm here to see the hanging city it's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes ever since i was a hatchling an alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed how could i not want to see what their civilization was like only you've probably heard the others say it right i'm afraid of space <laughs> yo ryback you're awesome ryback you're awesome seriously i'm more surprised than anybody that i'm out here you were hey it takes a lot of courage though you know what i mean let's go ryback we're rooting for you so you're afraid of space i forgot about that honestly uh if the other characters did say that just because it's been a minute but, hey, it's all good, you know? So what else? Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell. Tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable <laughs> instead of being sucked into what's below. You know what? We get lucky sometimes, too. You just kind of fall into where you, you're meant to be. You know, that's totally fine. It happens to us all the time. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout. And this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity. So I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did ya? Huh, that'd be... Yeah. <laughs> I learned something, where should I explore here, what are you doing out here? 
I, uh, y'all know how I love to do it. If you've been watching this playthrough, you know I love to kind of just go explore on my own before asking that kind of stuff, even though I guess we kind of have an idea of what's on this planet. We'll do it different this time. We'll do it different. I'll, I'll just ask them, where should I explore here? Because the last time on uh, talking to Gabra, we just went off on our own. So, where should I explore here? Oh, wow. Where shouldn't you explore here? Um, not the black hole, actually. That's very no. How about no? Which is unfortunate because uh, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the hanging city that's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. Okay. There's also this big dome, we did see that, on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface. We tried that. I feel like I remember that, like something told us you can't enter that observatory from like the surface. Um, but I wasn't 100% sure. We tried anyway. Trust me, I tried. Hey, we tried too. But if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Um, if you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it, if it's not too much trouble. Okay, what are you doing out here? Me? I'm an archaeologist, remember? Oh. Let's go guys. That actually reminds me uh, really quick, awesome news because I know that I see archeologist and I know that there is an Outer Wilds archeologist edition that includes Outer Wilds and like the DLC. So like this was just the train of thought that I was going down. Speaking of the Outer Wilds DLC, a massive shout out to Snoo Snoo for gifting that. Everybody, we will be tackling the DLC here on the channel. So yeah, that's like really exciting news and I just wanted to let y'all know, so we will. Anyway, I think that's awesome. Thank you so very much, Snoo, and I hope that you all are looking forward to that experience as well. Thank you all so much for supporting this Outer Wilds journey. I mean, heck, we're in double digits now for these episodes and I've been having so much fun and it's been so cool to meet the Outer Wilds community to see people enjoying this experience. So thank you very much. And everyone's been so cool. No one's like spoiling anything. Everyone's been very kind and uh, yeah, really appreciate you. Okay, we're back to it. Ryback. Let's go. So, me, I'm an archaeologist, remember? Such a cool design as well. Make me think a tiny bit of Bioshock. Or, um, THE archaeologist, I guess. Seeing as I'm all Timber Hearth's got right now. Brittle Hollow is rich with know my history. That's why I'm here. This planet is an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. If you have any questions about Brittle Hollow Nomai, I'm your Hearthian. Or, um, I have some knowledge of them. I mean, so, maybe I can help? Maybe? Dude, you are an absolute legend, my friend. You're much more knowledgeable than I am. So I learned something. What are you doing out here? Let's see, did we learn anything? What did we learn? Oh, cool. Um, what is it? I saw the Sunless City on Ember Twin. I went to the Comet. <laughs> what? Why would the comets be connected with this right now? I'm drawing a blank on that. And I saw the Sunless City on Ember Twin. Interesting. Let's do that. I saw the Sunless City on Ember Twin. Maybe because there's another city here. So it's like, imagine seeing a, a Nomai civilization. Maybe that's the connection? You mean there's another Nomai city inside of Ember Twin? That's incredible. A whole city. And I had no idea it existed. This is great. How did they keep the sand out? I didn't figure that out, that's for sure. Uh, the sand was definitely still going every time I was there. If it were me, I'd be nervous about getting buried in the caves by that awful river of sand. Gosh, the Nomai sure were ingenious, building an entire settlement underground. The Sunless City, wow. That means there were two groups of Nomai, one that lived on Ember Twin and one that lived here on Brittle Hollow. But they must have traveled around the solar system since Nomai writing can be found on other planets too. Yeah. 
Totally, totally. Um, and we also know there were like, I want to say young ones on Giant's Deep because we saw like there was a secret entrance to the construction yard and stuff too. Okay, let's go back to I learned something and I went to the comet and I mean so many things happened when we went on that comet. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. So that's how the Nomai died. It's really, that's really sad, isn't it? I know it was a long time ago, but still. Stars above, it's lucky we hadn't evolved to live on land yet. I gotta go back and read that comet, everybody. To think, if the comet hadn't killed them, our species might have coexisted in this solar system. That would have been amazing. Okay, I gotta go back and read the comet right now. I know that some of them died on the comet, but I didn't realize like the comet was the reason they all died. That would have been amazing, okay. But I guess if I hadn't wanted to learn why the Nomai disappeared, I'd never have left Timber Hearth and come out here or had any of these adventures. Don't get me wrong, space is terrifying, but you know, it has its moments. <laughs> Oh man, dude, I just got chills. I just got chills because like, don't let fear get in the way of you experiencing what could possibly be something amazing, be something great, right? Fear is going to be a player in your life and it's really up to us to decide how much of a role it's going to play in our lives. It's a lot easier said than done, but a majority of the time, something that we're really afraid of it is not going to be that bad. And I'm saying this as someone who has definitely struggled with that and still to to this day, but it's definitely a goal of mine to like, you know, to be better and better and better. But I fear things that definitely don't sound as scary as venturing out into outer space, you know? Like we've got a black hole over here, that's terrifying. <laughs> if you jump too high, you could be drift off into space forever and ever. You know, it's a lot, it's a lot to be afraid of over there, so. That's pretty justified. I mean, I used to have a really bad fear of even just streaming, like pressing the go live button and being able to go live for like 30 minutes. For me back then, that was absolutely terrifying. But my gosh, I am so glad I got over all of that. Who knows if this moment right now would be happening, you know? So anyway, I just wanted to say that I believe in you and Ryback, I believe in you too. Don't sell yourself short. You got this, all right? We all do. All right, let's rock and roll. Let's get back to the game. Don't get me wrong, space is terrifying, but you know, it has its moments. Okay, and that's it? Oh, that's it, everyone. That is it. Actually, never mind. Oh, okay. If you find, if you do find learn something, if you do find learn something new, okay. That might just be a little bit of a typo. If you do learn something new about the Nomai though, I'd love to hear it. Um, if you don't mind, I mean. You got it, buddy. Thank you. You're awesome, Ryback. You're awesome. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Guys, you know what I wanted to try? I just kind of like want to hang out here with Ryback, honestly, and just hear, <laughs> hear them play. It sounds so nice. Um, oh, let's get this. Talk to Ryback. There we go. We got the, the signal now. Oh, oh, just another explosion. It's all falling down, but it goes through. Okay, that was a surprise. That was a surprise. How the heck does that work? How the heck does that work, man? Yeah, no, we're we're pretty much done. I definitely thought about like the ice fire with ice there. I wasn't expecting the whole thing was going to go and it went through the black hole. Amazing I have this music playing right now. One thing I wanted to do, guys, 
I've been seeing whenever I edit these videos. <laughs> I had some s'mores pretty recently. Um, so I wanted to test something out because every time I've been making the marshmallows, I do this. I just like launch it right into the fire and extinguish and eat. I wanted to see how I actually make s'mores in real life. I don't just throw it into the fire. Dude, there's so much going on out there. I kind of do this. I want to see if there's actually any difference, guys. Maybe not. Does it look like it's changing? <laughs> that looks better. I don't know. I'm gonna go into this. I'm gonna go into this, guys, because I want to see what the heck happened. It's just an epic shot. Yeah. Is that the comment? It's just incredible, dude. Like, look at that. Look at that. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking, like, if that is important or not. Maybe it isn't. But I, I was thinking, like, what if... If the things are collapsing through... If that maybe triggers something? Like, it shoots out of the black hole and then it hits something else? Cause that that would be really crazy too. Like now we have the um the Phantom Moon is there. Yeah, and let's go read up on this comet too. Cause like, what if, what if when it crashes through? What if when it crashes through the black hole and it sends it flying? What if that like hits? Let's say the comet. It hits the comet and then that sends the comet into the sun or something and then that causes the sun to explode. I don't know. That was cool too. I've never noticed that. But if you were if you grab your suit, you actually are grabbing like the scout that was here too. Okay, let's read this real quick. The hanging city. Okay, yeah, we've got a couple new things. This is the hanging city. This is north. Yeah, we're gonna go definitely discover more um about that. This is Ryback's camp. <laughs> Oh, man. They overcame their fear. That is so awesome. The Southern Observatory. We have to enter through the crust somehow. We know that Feldspar is in Dark Ramble. We know that. I just... How did they know that this killed them all? I mean, it doesn't say ruptured core. It doesn't say, like, it killed everybody. You know? That's the only thing that's kind of throwing me for a loop, everyone. It doesn't say that. It just says, yeah, they determined the exotic matter was both lethal and under extreme pressure if the stone were to rupture. And I guess it is ruptured. Ah, oh, well, that's it. The exotic matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the solar system almost instantaneously. Very, uh, very interesting there. And yeah, it is. It is, uh... <laughs> it is ruptured, so it went uh, it went terribly wrong. So that was that, huh? Okay. Well, while we're still here, everybody, let's go pay a visit to our friend and see if they have anything new to say. We know that they're here right now. Ah, uh, we know. Let me see here. Ah, uh, nah, they have nothing to say. Yeah, we got Chira on the Hourglass Twins, Ryback is on Riddle Hollow, and Gabbro is on Giant Steep, and then there's Feldspar, obviously, but of course we don't know where they are, or if they're even still alive. Feldspar has been lost for a very long time, I'm, I'm afraid. Sorry, pressed it again. So yeah, Feldspar is going to be on, on the other planets. Yeah, just awesome, awesome design. Wow. 
We always manage to somehow land on the back of this thing. <laughs> we always manage to land here. Okay, how do I how do I crouch? We've got so many, so many questions, man. Let's go ahead and, and heal up. We're heading back to Brittle Hollow, everybody. Now we're gonna have to learn where uh, <laughs> where Brittle Hollow even is. There's Dark Bramble. Ah, uh, there you are. There's so many things, man. And like the Phantom Moon, no one has ever been able to land on. But we gotta be, we gotta try. We gotta be the first to try to land on there. This is so cool. That is just so cool. That it all just breaks apart. And Brittle Hollow, the name, again. Again, like the Hourglass Twins. Like the Hourglass Twins name was uh, phenomenal. I love that name. It's so cool. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> ah! Dude, the ship is damaged right now. I can't even, I can't, can I lift off? How the heck did that happen? All right, let's go ahead and land this. Get out, get out, get out, go. Okay, let's repair this up. Turn on the lights. But yeah, I love the name, the Hourglass Twins. And Brittle Hollow is just so perfect as well. Dark Bramble. Now I gotta think about that. Why would, what's the, what's the thing about that name? The interloper, I mean, Giant's Deep. Okay, that's all looking pretty good. What we got going on over here? Bells, beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, descend the steps. So no one's ever been able to land on the moon, but they did figure out a way to go on the moon? Descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Oh, it's going to be it's going to be like another like another puzzle. Wow. Hmm. Oh, we had another one right here. That was close. <laughs> Plume, the trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. The entire planet, roots and all. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. And I never see them move. Is that even possible? If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant, or my brain must be. Thatch. Plume is right. The trees do move. I confess, I didn't notice until I read his notes. <laughs> Thatch. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There is other matter in this area. Such as that unusual shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. What? We got another. We got one of those shards here. Felix, the rock is unusual for another reason, too. Thatch, it possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Felix, hypothesis. This rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what is causing other nearby objects to also move about this area? We almost missed that. Ah, this right here. It's so dark. Oh. Oh, wow. They wrote this on the rock. Thatch, Plume, Felix, and I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. Felix, of note, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend, the Wandering Moon, sounds the same. Felix, I've also heard the same signal this shard produces calling out from Giant's Deep. Timber Hearth 
<laughs> and the Hourglass Twins. Suppose there are other shards like this one. Thatch, the only other object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the Wandering Moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and this groves are related. Heck yeah, every time you look away, that thing moves around as well. Plume. In her note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis, this is Plume. This quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. This is a, a pretty big one, I would say. I would say this is the largest one we've seen yet. That is really cool. What if I say I have the lights on this thing? I can't teleport with it. Oh, this is so nice. At least we can go down here. Wow, I was standing right here. Did not turn this direction to use the stairs. <laughs> Um, and now that's going to keep moving. Look, now it's there. Now it's not there anymore. Now it's over there. So fun. Just stunning. How do we get in though? We gotta keep just going. The Southern Observatory. Entrance below, below us. Ah, we gotta go right there, okay. I'm just gonna move this. Why would you wanna turn it off? It, it could send you back up, but we don't want to go up right now. It's crazy, dude. I want to jump down there. I want to go over there. But let's do one thing at a time. Yo, there is way more to this game than <laughs> I thought we still had left. Oh, oh, gosh, dude. Oh, crap. Well, that makes sense. This is going to take you all the way to the black hole. Very nice save, everyone. I wonder if that's what we were seeing. There were like pieces of that there, too. Now then, um... Are you kidding me, dude? Please. Please, 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 please. No! this like the station come on come on we got this it's so cool seeing all the pieces flying out I, I never noticed that wow this is, uh, this is a tough planet guys no oh, we're good Okay, well done everyone, well done. Okay, so now we gotta make it back to where our scout is and our ship. That was probably on the complete opposite end. Jeez, man. There's the scout. Just incredible, incredible. Hopefully, we can still make our way down there. Okay, the ship is still good. So dark. I'm just gonna go and grab uh, all the fuel again. Okay, let's try this again. We definitely lost some precious time. There we go, turn the flashlight on, my gosh. Okay, let's try this again. 
Is there an easier way? This has to be turned off. Dude, guys, guys, please. Oh, I definitely, I definitely overcomplicated that one. <laughs> oh, I definitely, it was going to bring you here the whole time. Hold on. Oh, that's brutal, guys. That's brutal. <laughs> okay, let's take a look here. What do we got? Bells. Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Bells, if you are making your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. To get there? Ascend these stairs. This? Tricky, very tricky. Ah, uh, I had a feeling it wouldn't be that straightforward right there if we could actually walk on that thing. Yeah, send these stairs. Thank you for that. Surface integrity, 4%. Interesting. I wonder if it's because I was too late. Ha, <laughs> wow. Let's raise this right here. Come on. This is the crossroads. Dude, this is just absolutely stunning. Is that going to kill us? Nah, it's alright. Oh, we're good. Dang. I wonder if maybe we arrived too late to this, uh, this spot. Is one theory. I mean, that my other theory is we can maybe just fly in there with our ship, because it is all open. Oh, gosh. All right, I'm gonna try that. Let's put that scout right there. Okay, let's let's go back up. Maybe try grabbing our ship. See if uh, we can fly in there. It, it's probably not going to work, but. <laughs> We're going to learn, that's for sure. Let's try this out and see if this works. Please, please. You can do it, you can do it. Come on, man. It's definitely not the right way, but... I could maybe time it just right. <laughs> you see, let's look around. Wow, that just, like, launched me into here. Interesting, man. This ship is going through it right now. And now I'm just stuck. You're just completely stuck. Okay. Is 
Sad part about to blow up. Dang, massive hit there. Okay, has anything changed? <laughs> we still are not able. We are not able. Unless, wait, is this supposed to be like you actually need to stop looking? You're trolling me right now. You're trolling me. Yeah, make your way up. Make your way up. Yeah, right. Okay, whatever. Let's go see what the crossroads is all about. Nah, it's, we're being deflected. They don't want us to go anywhere. Ah, you know what? Just use this thing, bro. Come on. There we go. We got pretty close to us. Oh my gosh. Really? Guys, are you kidding me? After everything we've been through. <laughs> We're in the middle of going through. Oh, that's got to be the pieces to the bridge. It's got to be the pieces of the bridge. That's crazy, man. Oh, there's Dark Bramble. I don't want to go. I don't want to go on Dark Bramble. Because I want to save that planet. I kind of want to go on the comet. I want to go on this comet, guys. I want to see... I mean, we're so crazy late into this run right now. We're so crazy late into this run... I want to see what happens. Does this comet crash into the sun? Is that what ends up happening? We're slowly but surely making our way over. I don't want to go into Giant's Deep. <laughs> I don't want to go there. I think we got to go on the other side, but we're cutting it pretty close. You need to be very careful because I don't want to go, guys. Come on. I think we're all right. Making our way to the interloper. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Fuel level's critical again. I want to know, does that crash into the sun? Is it going to be a perspective thing? Oh, uh, I don't think so. Brutal, dude. Brutal. <laughs> I, was trying, I was trying my absolute best to get there. Oh, but it didn't work out. Darn it. I think the interloper went by the sun, but I don't think it hit the sun. Brittle hollow, everyone. We've got our work cut out with this planet. So cool. So cool. Way, not even at all what I imagined it would be. Seeing where that goes to land, but that is going to do it for today everybody amazing amazing adventure i had so much fun and i really hope you all did as well i can't wait to play some more of this and go explore brittle hollow some more there's so much for us to see over there we barely barely scratched the surface so i had so much fun i'm happy we got to go back to the energy lab as well because that has been a goal of mine since i've been editing these videos i had so much fun though and i really hope you did as well as always, thank you so very much for watching. If you had a good time today, press the like button. It really does help the channel and it would mean a lot to me. So yeah, please do that. And subscribing is always awesome as well. A massive shout out to our channel members and patrons. And thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you. Stay safe, stay awesome, and I hope to see you soon. Later, later.